back to Excuse, Excuse My friend. friend. We are your hosts. I'm Alexis. I'm Julia. And hello. <laughs> it's Monday. I never know what to say after the intros. You never do. And I'm I always never like, do. Monday, Monday, Monday. But I, what if I'm it's like Tuesday, woman. Wednesday, Thursday when people are listening? Well, they can pretend it's a Monday because Mondays are good days. I know. You love Mondays. We've it's been over great. this. It's a great day to be alive. It really is. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Anyway, you didn't come here to hear us sing, and I'm like have like this weird cold allergy thing, yeah, so it's, it's really something. Yeah, and whenever you get sick, I get sick, so that's cool. We it's live definitely together. allergies for sure. Maybe, but like, there's no. I, normally, I get allergies. Like, I'm not feeling anything. Like, I don't know. When we moved I here, know. I had it really bad too, and I was like, I think it's allergies. I that's weird. Cause when I when we first moved to Nashville, my allergies, like, I was sick all the time. It was miserable. See, it was the opposite for really? me. Really? Yeah. Like living here, like knock on wood, like I feel great. Like for once, I can breathe. I can like it's everything's clear. I don't wake up with a sore throat. If um, you say you're gonna knock on wood, you know you actually have to, right? Oh, you do? I'm like super this into that wood. stuff. Yes, it is. The wall isn't wood. Yeah, it is. There's like wood underneath. You don't have to actually knock oh, on it. Shoot. It's just an Our expression. <laughs> no, see, I disagree. I like, if I'm going to say it, I have to do it. I mean, I'll like knock on wood. I'm so superstitious. But you're actually, yeah, you're actually superstitious. See, Very I'm not. Su- oh, I don't you're believe not? that stuff, no. See, I like wish I wasn't because I feel like it's a curse and but i'm super 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 have you always been superstitious like always what, what about it do you like, i don't why i don't, like, I don't get it i don't know so i guess i've been doing it wrong this whole time like i'll say knock on wood but i don't really knock but <gasps> i'm not i'm not superstitious though like <gasps> Oh. I'll open an umbrella inside. Oh my gosh. I don't like freak out if I see a black cat. Like and every time you open an umbrella inside, what do I say? Julia, that's such bad luck. Don't oh do it. Oh my gosh. I freak out. I, like there are certain things that I just focus. think like I try not to tell anyone like good news before it happens. I believe that. Absolutely. Cause I think people's, but vibes. you don't believe the other stuff. That's different because not people different, Julia. put out vibes. People get jealous. People get weird, but an umbrella inside a house or not knocking on wood. I'm sorry. I don't buy it. I don't know. It's it's just something. I don't know. I don't even know how we got on this subject, but like I'm really superstitious. And you started knocking on oh, the yeah, neighbors said, while I'm going to come over and be like, hello. Well, no, I had to knock on wood for you because I feel the like. The wall isn't wood. I'm not about to argue with you if what's wood and what's not. There's wood behind the damn wall. There's no wood. Julia. The okay. wall. It. it is a wall. But I do think it's interesting that hotels and apartment buildings and just buildings in general do not have a 13th floor. I have no way. How do, You've never noticed that? That's not true. It's 1000% true. I'm Googling it right now. There's no 13th floor. The truth behind hotels missing 13th floor. So what's the truth? It's Open a it. thing. What, what does it say? What's the truth? For years, hoteliers, hoteliers have succumbed to good old fashioned superstition when they've crafted their blueprints. And while the practice of removing the 13th floor or erasing its traces might seem drastic it can be partly attributed to a real phobia by removing the 13th floor many hotel owners are simply making sure they don't alienate any superstitious clients so people like you will not go on the 13th floor see so i'm not the thing. only one i understand there's a that. lot of superstitious people including I, hotel people that are smart I understand thinking that, like i am but i'm saying they don't have a 13th floor in a lot of these places which i think is interesting I, uh, sure i i sh- yeah okay that's very interesting i don't think anyone cares about the 13th floor oh, i always thought it was really fascinating i always noticed that I'm like i don't see a 13th floor i guess now i'm gonna buttons. look <laughs> i promise you i guess now i'm gonna be like is there a 13th go floor look. no it's I'm really gonna look. I'm gonna go to the hotel down the street and be like, "Hi, do you have a 13th floor?" Um, <laughs> <laughs> you actually would do something like that. That's the best I part. Would. Next time we go to an event, I should have done that last night. On the roof, yeah, because I know it's a thing in hotels, and I'm pretty sure also like you know build like just every event building. places. We uh, went yeah. to um, a uh, movie premiere last night for. Your Place or Mine yep, on Netflix. Netflix movie with Ashton Kutcher and Reese Witherspoon. Yes. And um, then we went to an after party that ha- that was like, I should have checked there. We went to two checked. after parties. That's yeah, true. The, but the I should have checked. After party. But we weren't thinking about it. We weren't like. No, we were more fixated that Mila Kunis and Ashton Kutcher were standing right next to us at the bar at this after Pretty party. Cool. I'm sorry. I just like. I couldn't believe yeah. it. I still get the chills. Last night was probably the coolest event we've been to since living here. Like yeah. we've been really blessed to be able to go to these things. Oh my which, God. So blessed. What's really cool is that before we moved here and like years ago, living in Nashville, 
we would have to sneak into a lot yep. of these things. Yeah, and we now, snuck in. For once, we're Pain like in getting invited. So I'm like, like so you do thankful. what you have to do, you know? Oh like you just sneak in to you get in those in. places, to network, to do whatever you have to do. And but we have nice done it. But it's nice not having to and actually right. being on the list and being invited. Yeah, exactly. It's nice. And my big like aha moment was my mom and I used to come to California all the time. We'd drive up and down Sunset and we would look for the paparazzis and the people standing outside with their pens and their posters posters you know trying to get their the stars autographs Mm -hmm. last night that's what happened there were paparazzis and people standing outside with mila Mm -hmm. kunas ashton kutcher reese witherspoon posters and i thought what i I took it in for a second because i thought what an aha moment for for me because it's like now it's full circle. Yeah. Like I'm no longer driving around looking like, oh my God, there's stars in there. Like yeah. I actually got invited. And it's like, sometimes I feel like, should we even be invited to this? I still feel that way. And I don't want to. Yeah, I get that. And I feel like, kind of like what you're saying with, like, I feel like manifestation is so real. Oh my gosh. It's like so I'm real. starting to believe it because yeah. I've always just pictured red, like red carpet in my brain. I don't know why I just grew up. Like I want to be on a red carpet. Yeah. And last night, I literally like got emotional because I was like, I'm literally living what I pictured growing mm-hmm, up. Mm-hmm. And just like you said, you would drive up and down Sunset and yeah. see those parties. But we were in that party yeah. this time. And sometimes it's intimidating to go to these parties so with intimidating. Ashton Kutcher yeah. and Mila. Like, how do I act? <laughs> like I get, you know, uncomfortable and like for some reason, awkward, embarrassing yeah. situations follow me. So then yeah. that happens. And it's just like. It's t- like, how do you act in those parties? That's what I mean. It's like it's a whole other level. Right. It's of- like, are our outfits good enough? Are we acting good enough? Are we, there's so are much that goes on in my me? head. Am I good enough to be here? Right. Which- it's yeah it's but it's I, our own psychological I felt that thing. way no matter even at some parties that we got invited to mm-hmm. I always kind of felt that way like am I like do I fit in here I felt like, that way right? at parties like in high school or college parties I think maybe it's like our own thing I wonder if anybody else feels that way yeah, like, do I belong weird. here yeah. I want somebody to like teach me how to be bougie <laughs> like that sounds bad like I don't want to be bo- like bougie but I like Yes, does that, you do, does Julia. That Stop putting that in your does head. Does that make sense to you? Because, like, if you love designer things, I think that's great. Like, more power to you. But I yeah. was just never into that stuff. I'm more just like, this is a cute jacket. I'm going to wear it. I don't right. care if it's from Walmart Nothing wrong or with that, though. But, like, I guess I don't know how to act around the... Bo- like, I don't know if I'm making sense. I just need to But you don't to have to, like, to be. be bougie. I think they're open to all. But for some reason, you just tighten up. I noticed that with you. I'm like hello i tighten up like what happens to you it's intimidating man Anyways. i'm already shy and introverted yeah. and then you're in this like mansion and this famous person it's and you don't want to be like oh my gosh like a fan yeah, girl exactly you don't want to be like there's drama. a fine line so i just i have a million thoughts running in my head and then my jacket's upside down so i get yeah. psyched out about that yeah. so and <laughs> well at least we didn't have any malfunctions last night at the premiere and well we kind of did no, you didn't. You want your hat falling? My hat That's fell off. That's not that off. big of a deal. I was eating a crab cake on a stick and it splattered on the floor in front of all the Bachelor, <laughs> the cast of The Bachelor. I'm telling you. Who awkward, cares? It's the Bachelor situations. cast. Who cares? Just find like, I love The Bachelor, okay? Do oh not bash God, The Bachelor. Oh my God, you become such a vulm for these Bachelor people. Oh my God, they're here. I'm Look, like, who the cares? The cast of The Bachelor, <laughs> Love Island, Love is Blind, Perfect Match, they were all there. They were all there and that was really cool. And I was like, I want to date but one he, of them. Here's the thing. <laughs> we're like friends with them, a lot of them, but you're, you still get awkward. I'm but like, some of them we're we didn't know. friends and with like, them. I get awkward around hot people, okay? Yeah, like, you do. It's so uncomfortable. But I I will say you would make like a really hot couple with some of those bachelor people you like like you two (laughs) like together would be like such a hot couple i love that oh so would you i could see you but i could see you with more of like a business yeah i want more of like like but i also want the business guy to be like a verified person like a very big person so in order to date us you have to be verified no i'm totally no we're just joking oh my gosh don't put that out there people are gonna make wow these pitches i'm totally kidding but you know it's nice to dream there's just something about like that like hot celebrity couple like i will say mila and ashton gold so hot like the way that they so walked jealous. in, walked out together, they were like all around mm. each other. Like 
their goals. And it made me think like, I want that yeah. perfect Hollywood story. And it's so cute that she came to support I and know. came to the after party. And like, yeah, they're just so cute. So and then they cute. met on that show years ago. I know. And they're just like such ballers and they're both it's cute. It's a picture, picture perfect Hollywood story. But I will say like the rom-com that he's in with Reese Witherspoon, rom-coms will mess up your mind. Oh, absolutely. They'll make you think that that's real life. That's how love should be. That's the ending. This guy that's going to come and save you and take <laughs> care of you and have millions of dollars. It's wrong. Yeah. So basically the, the movie we went to yesterday, um, the premise is Reese Witherspoon and Ashton Kutcher hooked up once eight, I believe eight years ago. And they kept in touch as friends like every day, but they would date other people. And I don't want to give away the ending, but basically it's a love story. Are they still in love? Are they going to be together? They, they come together, come Julia. I don't they know. What you know blah, blah, blah. I don't want to spoil it. It's a really cute movie on Netflix. Um, and so at the end when she's just like, like I get the goosebumps and Reese Witherspoon delivered this so well when she's like, why didn't you tell me you loved me all this time? And I got so emotional what I'm trying to say is that rom-coms, I stopped myself from watching them because they gave... Why are you Why are you giving like looking like that? Because I just am very confused. It's just... It's a rom-com. They make you feel like shit. But the way the, she the delivered that was so terrible. beautiful. Like, it was beautiful. And, like, I had to stop myself from watching those movies because I feel like that's why I have unrealistic expectations. Come on. In what world does billionaire Ashton Kutcher fall in love with you and become obsessed with you and move across country for you. It just doesn't. For us in our generation, it's just swipe, swipe, click, heart, message, snap. That's how it you fall in love is. these days. It's all dating apps. And I, I wish it was, you know, like the rom-coms where you bump into that hot guy at the coffee shop and you fall and your stuff falls and, he and you saves lock you. eyes. And then the and then music. he buys you lunch. He saves you. Absolutely. But now, you know, the reality, this ain't a rom-com. Nope. In this movie, it's swipe, swipe. <laughs> in, this, in this movie, it's swipe, swipe. I mean, isn't that weird to think, though, like our generation, the stories are going to be like, I met your um your daddy? father or your daddy yeah. no, no, on a like, dating app. I met your father on a dating app. <laughs> Wait, that's that like That would be grandkids. Person? Yeah, what the or hell? I mean, your grand... I met your grandfather on a dating app. Okay, uh, delete, delete you. Delete you. You are cringe, Shit cringe. down around the campfire. <laughs> I will tell you how i met your four You're so that cringe. sounds so weird i know I'm so um cringe. i yeah no i the whole dating app thing is just it, it's just such a, a thing but i will say what will and you I hope say she's not, i hope she's not listening Who? i'm gonna say this quietly our neighbor we bumped into her yesterday and she gave us hope she, she found her hope she hates when we say that it's her sugar daddy, but basically she found herself a sugar daddy, a.k.a. significant other on Match.com and tell everyone how great Match.com is. What do they do? What do they offer? Match.com gives you an option to put down the minimum amount you want that person to make or you not put down make, the requirements, like whatever you prefer. I've never done Match, but I assume it's like. You know, you want someone this tall, makes this much money, lives this, you know, this far away from me or whatever. And we were talking about this even before we talked to our neighbors. Match.com, you have to pay for it. So I feel like people are serious about finding Definitely. Love. But I think Tinder and Bumble, they have like premium subscriptions. And Raya now you have to pay for. But Match.com has been the one that I've heard the most success stories from. Definitely. I mean, I've heard so many. This, our neighbor, she's, I want to say like what? She's, she's older too. We're like whispering. She's older. So we don't want to yeah. And, and she, she's hot for her age. And her significant other has a mansion, huge mansion here. Also pays right for her place us. here. Plays for her, pays for her apartment here. Helped and, her buy a place in Florida and St. Petersburg. Yes. And helps her family with stuff. I mean, this is unbelievable. Because she put in, how I don't know however much, but she told us she put in like a minimum. What? Of, how, minimum. What was the number? Minimum what? What are you talking How about? much that she wanted the guy to make on match? Oh, I don't even know. She put it whatever number it was. And they've been together nine, nine years. years. Um, and they're like super cute. We met him. He's Adorable. so nice. And that oh gave us God. hope because also, you know, I think society also is like, if you're not married by this age and women, you know, you tend to lose your hotness by the time you turn this age. She's older. She's adorable. And she found she this still sugar found daddy. Love. She still found love. So that's a success story. But, but our friend Lauren, who's staying with us, she sat us down and told us the craziest dating story I've heard. Yeah. The craziest honestly. dating story. Oh my gosh. It, what my a whack job. Blown. 
Yeah. So that was on Hinge. Basically, she met this guy and they start chatting and they meet up that night that they first match. Everything's great. He's cute. He's normal. (laughs) She noticed... That the place they met up for to get drinks is right by his apartment. So she's like, Convenience. Red, red flag, Typical but like, man. okay, whatever. And so they go back to his place. Long story short, you know, candles, music, champagne. They did the deed. They did the deed. They home run. And um, so basically, and what really turned her on about him was it was that he didn't have social media, right? Basically, after they slept together the next few weeks, things started to, you know, move forward. They start seeing each other. But every time they hung out, it would always be by his apartment, which is so weird. Again, convenient. Convenient, right? Like, let's hook up. Right. My thing is, we knew about this guy because she was sending all of us, like, hey, I'm actually into this guy. This could right. be serious. She sent us the picture. Like, he looked so normally cute. so like, cute. Congrats, the whole thing, like, right. And um, she sent it to a fr- She doesn't live here. Um, and then she sent it to another friend. Uh, and her friend was like, wait a minute. Lauren, I've seen this guy on a Facebook group that's called, I have written down, Red Flag Group. Basically, there's a bunch of Facebook groups called like Red Flag, Run Girl Run, Run Guy Run. And people, guys or girls on separate groups, they'll post pictures of people they're dating and they'll be like, I met this guy, Josh from Bumble. Watch out. He did A, B, and C. And girls can call, like, people just post to warn others to. But this avoid is on these another people. level, this guy. So he was, a, somebody posted a, about him. He, he gave a different name for each girl that mm-hmm. he went out with. Every time was a different name. Yep. A, first red flag. Second red flag, all the girls said if we did not go home with him, he would get so aggressive at the restaurant. Mm-hmm. He would leave, have the girl pay, and he would basically like blackmail them, like find yeah. stuff about Scary. them and blackmail them on the internet. And the best part was that, come to find out, he said he didn't have social media. He he's has all social over media. Social media. He's an evangelist, pastor. He's a motivational speaker, life coach. Has a podcast. Has made appearances on like other people's podcasts. He has <laughs> blogs. Unbelievable. He's making videos like preaching to like be a good person and don't have sex before marriage and like religious things. And it's just wild that wild. he's preaching this. Wild. People are watching his videos and thinking, "Oh my gosh, this is good advice," but. Behind closed doors, he's doing all this to all these girls. Yeah, How do you feel about guys with animals in their photo? In their, like, (laughs) dating app photo? (laughs) Like, you're not a huge animal person. You're getting there. But, like, what is your thought on, like, a guy posing with his animal? Or, like, like, the typical guy that, like, went on probably one or two hikes with his dog. Uh And he gets that picture. Thoughts. I have a thing about men who post pictures with puppies, babies. Oh, I was, I was going to ask about those yeah, two Yeah, because I really, like, see right through it. It's like, this is me with my niece. I love, because they know women want babies. I love like, kids. I love babies. I love puppies. And one guy from a dating app I started talking to, he had a picture with his dog. His dog, Chloe. He always used Chloe as, like, bait. Because I'd be like, oh, your dog's so cute. I'm not a huge dog person, but I would just be polite. Like, your dog's so cute. Right. He would always use that. Like, do you want to come <laughs> over and meet Chloe? I'm actually taking care of Chloe, Chloe. right now. I'm like, dude, that doesn't impress me. Like, Right, that's girls, not turning me on. I think that's a red flag. My red flag is if they post a photo with their, like, girl best friend. Don't do it. We're good there. We don't need to see that there's another woman in your life. Another woman. Even when they have like their mom in there, it's cute. I get it. But I'm like, okay, are you a mama's boy where you're only going to take her side forever and always? I'm over it. I used to love it because my mom mom and my parents always said, you know, mama's boys, they're great. They'll teach. They'll teach you. They'll treat you right. Like, Mm -hmm. look how they're treating their mom. I believe in a lot of that. But at the same time, when they're too mama's boy and like they can't cut the umbilical cord, I'm like, okay. (laughs) Cut it. Like, we're done. Like, we're good. Treat me right. But like, you know, my thing is, if you're going to download a dating app, guy or girl, do not post pictures of you with your hotter friends. If you have better looking friends in the picture, <laughs> don't do it. Wait, really? Yes, because I'll see like guys on there. Oh, no, I and think he'll, it'll be him with like two of his buddies that are way hotter. And I'm like, oh, it must be one of them. And then I'm like, which one is it? And then it's like the not. Oh, uh, that's not true. Yeah, one. we've all been disappointed. I feel like that's just hurting you. If you have hotter friends than you, do not post pictures of you with them on your dating app. See, and I'll argue with you saying to me, 
it's like, oh, he clearly is in like a hot, like in a cool group. Like he has hot friends. But you're like, not trying to date. You're trying to date him, not the. So you're saying Julia, I'll get in with him when, so I can date his listen, friend. Listen, Linda, when My you date not Linda, <laughs> when you date a guy, you're dating everyone around him, his family, his friends. You are. That leads. Okay, this is kind of random. Have you ever like dated a guy and then he had like a hot, like a hot friend, and then you're low key like, I wish I was with no. your friend and not you. No. You uh, have? Oh, that's just me? Yeah. Yikes. That's bad. You've done that? Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is a long time ago, but I'd be like, like, I would like low key be like, Mesh, your friend is way hotter. Like, I wish I was with your friend and not. So I would like low key, like flirt with a friend. The mirror picks and the gym picks. Like, I get it. Be Jimbo, Jimmy. But Jimbo, like, Jimmy. I'm good with that. Like, the I, don't, I just, I don't like that. Like a good picture of you just like chilling, mm. comfortable clothes, or maybe in your work outfit, a few pictures is good. Yeah. We don't need a whole damn album. Also, Let me like, ask about your life. Also, the picture of you skydiving and mountain climbing and holding a fish is like, you're way too adventurous for me, bro. Really? See, I would like that because I've been skydiving. Like, like I, the I've, adventurous thing and like the fish. It's just like typical. It's so cliche. But then again, the like why picture. should everyone conform to what we want? Like there's plenty of girls totally. that love that shit. We're just sharing what we <laughs> like and don't like. I'm not saying it's right or wrong. Here's, okay. I was talking to somebody and they were giving me advice on how to spot a rich guy on a dating app. Uh-huh. If you see a guy with a picture and he's standing in front of a Aston Martin or a Rolls Royce, like just standing in front of the car, he probably doesn't own the car and he don't got money. Just a tourist. Just a tourist. Just a fan of the car. Nothing wrong with it. I've done it before. Another way to tell is if the guy is in a picture standing in front of a yacht or a boat, he probably doesn't own the boat. But if there's a picture of him and the main focus isn't the boat or the nice car and the focus is him, but you happen to notice from the corner of the picture, or whatever that he is on a boat or in a nice car, he's not trying to flaunt it, but he is in a nice thing and own probably owns that nice thing. If that makes sense. So if he's not trying to flaunt it, he probably has it. If he is flaunting it, he probably is not rich. Here's the thing. Sometimes you don't have to have rich either. Oh, like, I know. You know but what I'm I mean? just saying, like, I'm just saying in case you no, want a rich guy. Totally, totally. I get that. But sometimes like you just want a low key chill. He has a nice job and you just want like a cute little family, oh, totally. the yacht and the boat thing. That doesn't impress me. If anything, that's like a turn off. Totally. Like I would rather have a guy secretly have a shit ton of money mm -hmm. And not pose with any of that stuff. I think it's so disgusting. I cannot stand when people have like the the Rolls Royce watch and they're like this with their picture. Yeah, man. Or they have like a stack of cash. Like, look at me. That is the biggest Did you just turn say off. A Rolls Royce watch. Not a Rolls a Rolex? Royce. Rolex. <laughs> man, <I'm so> <laughs> <laughs> I agree with you though. Like a Rolex I, watch. A if Rolls you're Royce watch. if you're a secret millionaire billionaire that doesn't have to flaunt it like that. Like, literally take my pants off now. Like, that to me is so hot. I agree with you, and I'm not trying to find rich. I just mentioned that because earlier in the episode, we mentioned, like, Match.com. You can put in, oh, I wanted to make this much money. Like, I don't care about that stuff either. I just, like, I thought that was an interesting point that my friend pointed out. Because, like, like you said, the ones that do flaunt it, it's like, eh, okay, you probably aren't a genuine, so like. So, if, if you don't care about the money, how come you don't go for the sushi guy? The sushi guy. Yeah. So, we've been going to this sushi place. <laughs> That we're obsessed oh, you're with. Bring this up. Yes. Okay. And this guy fell in love with Julia. No, he didn't. He and didn't Julia was not me. having it. Um, she was it's just like the ones you don't want. Totally. And um, he wasn't getting the hint. So we go to pay for our sushi. Well, he finds her name on our credit card creep. Um, <laughs> and request her on social media and Heartland Ray, our profiles. I mean, pretty slick. That's. I can't tell if that's creepy or cute. Like took that's the credit card, found so my name, creepy. followed me. And what's awesome is this is our regular Creep. sushi spot that we love. And so now it's super weird when we go. So like, awkward. Like he's so awkward around us now. So awkward. It's not. He ruined it. I don't care if he's a waiter or this and that. It's then just, go for him. Okay, I'm just I'll, gonna go for, I'm just hook gonna it up go for any man that talks to me. Yeah? I'll hook it up. Yeah, I'm gonna go for just anyone that gives me attention. He, yeah, I wasn't. <laughs> why don't you go for him? He wasn't into me. I wasn't into him. But he was into you. <laughs> so I just gotta open my legs for any guy that looks at me. I'm sorry. Like I will be your friend. 
But, but if you're like, all, Julia, if you're about the love, he truly loves you. It seems like. So why don't you just? He wasn't my type. But home props to him <laughs> for looking on the credit card. I hope he didn't take down my credit card number and do yeah, some Amazon so shopping sketch. with that. My question for you is: Have you ever been catfished? Ooh, like real catfish. Okay, hold on, let me let me get comfortable here with my red socks. Have I been catfished? Thankfully, no. But I've catfished someone. You have? No, I'm kidding. Oh my god! I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> Give me the deets. Right. I'm like, no, I haven't. I I, I kind of want that story though. I've almost though. Not really like catfishing. It's kind of different. This guy I was talking to, and we were talking for a while, but I just like didn't trust him, so I made an account of like a hot girl to test his loyalty and I like DM'd him and like started talking to him and flirting with him to see if he would go for it. I mean we've all done that. I've done that. I don't consider that catfishing though. Oh, I thought, I've done that to test like my like boyfriend or like I thought I was the only one that did no, that. No, I've a hundred percent done that testing. I'm not the only crazy one. <laughs> no. Okay, thank God. Because I thought there was something a little off. No, I there was some I feel like we're both pros at this. No, I've like done the whole and like I'm gonna send a message, I'm gonna make this like fake profile, this hot girl, and message my guy to see like what he does or what he says. Of course. I've done it a couple times. I think I probably have too. I mean, I don't think that's this is cat a safe, fishing, this though. This is a safe space, right? Yeah. Uh, us and all of our girls. All the girls. Listen. All the girls. Has anybody else done it? <laughs> um, but okay. Do you remember Jeff's story? About, a little bit. The mom and the daughter thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Tell, okay. tell the girls. I'm, I'm tell, the girls. tell the this girls. Tell the girls. This is a juicy one. So our good friend Jeff, his friend Chris met this girl online. She lived in like, I don't know, Wisconsin or yeah. something. So they develop a relationship over the internet and it's getting <laughs> serious. They're together for about a year. He's thinking about moving there. He drops the I love oh yous. God. And this guy is like a solid, just a sweet guy. Like he wants He's a He's a softy, adorable. He is. Like I want him. But anyway, he falls in love with this girl. Fast forward, the girl's mom was using her daughter's pictures and posing <gasps> as the daughter the whole time Chris was talking to oh the mother, thinking it's the daughter. Stop! And this isn't the first time it's happened. The mom would like a few times before would go and take the daughter's pictures and pretend to be her and catfish all these guys. Oh. So the, the daughter is now like filing a lawsuit and going after the mom because she keeps doing it. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Like, what would you do if your mom did that? She, like, took your pictures and pretended to be you and started dating, like, a 25-year-old. I'd be like, get it. Get it? <laughs> get it, mom. Get it. Get it, mom. No, that, that's, like, that's weird. I actually think that's very, very weird. I like, wouldn't be able to forgive my mom if she did that. I'd forgive her. Like, no. I get what she's trying to do. Like, I okay, don't. I get it. But, like, it's just so weird. So, did, I, I can't remember, did he end up going with the mom? Yeah, he like proposed and him and the mom lived happily what? ever after. He proposed to the mom? No, he didn't. No. Oh. He, I'm like, wait, are you kidding? Yeah, no, he cut he cut it off. He broke it off. Because like, is that true love though? Like he got to know the real person. He fell in love with that person. And you can't trust that person though. That person is using her daughter's No, I know, photos. but I'm just saying, I guess I'm like thinking too far into this. But yeah, it's like, okay, I you fell that. in love with like the person. Right. Obviously, obviously he liked look her Look past as a her person. looks. Look past the part that it's not right. the daughter. Yeah, and it's like, <laughs> is he shallow for being like, oh, it's not you. But like, can you blame him? No, it's like, you lied I couldn't, to me. No, I couldn't trust that person. Yeah, it's like, what, what else are you hiding? What if a guy did this to you, but the real guy you actually thought was hotter, w would you still go for him? That is tough. Would you go for it? Because you obviously fell in love you'd with that like person. Pres presently. You'd be pleasantly surprised. But again, it goes back to trust. And Same. again, what else are you hiding? Same. I think it's deeper. Inter Same. Like internally, I it's couldn't deeper do it. There's a reason you're doing that. So mm -hmm. mm, it's no. a no. It's a no for no. me. Same. We agree on so that. So yeah, we don't we don't catfish. I try not to catfish. It's hard though. Like there's there's moments where I'm like, am I catfishing the world because I use the filters? TikTok Same. has some amazing filters no, that makes seriously. you look like a complete dime oh my in gosh. a different human. Mm -hmm. Where I'm like, 
It looks so pretty like this. That's the thing about like dating apps that I would always be so anxious about was like meeting the person and in my head being like, I hope they think I look the same. Yeah, because it's so yeah. easy to use those things. And some yeah. of them, they actually have like makeup. If you're not wearing makeup oh that day, they'll put makeup like on you. I'm sure I catfish the world too because sometimes I just want to use a little bit of enhancement. I'm like, all right, let's go. Like sometimes we do the TikTok filters. They are dangerous. Yeah. They're da- we just did one not that long ago and it already had the filter already set up. I had no idea until we posted. So you're like, I'm looking good. And I look at that to myself. Damn, I look yeah, thinner in the today. face. I look tan. My eyelashes look And then the popping. filter comes off and you're like, oh. Yeah, and I go back to it and it like says that the filter's underneath. I'm like, damn it. TikTok got me with the damn filter. I'm pissed. It's so funny. Like, yeah. I wish I looked like that. <laughs> no, I think, yeah, that's the thing with filters is like, I try not to use them a lot because I don't want to rely on that because I know myself and I'll hate myself without the filter. So I, know, I try not like, to. It looks so but good. So I feel like it's sometimes fun, though. <laughs> I kind of catfish. Like now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, do I catfish? You are a catfish. <laughs> Why do they call it catfishing? Actually, I'm going to Google Look it that. up. Actually, to, yeah. yeah. Wait, you're like, right. Why do they call it catfishing? There has to be a reason. A filmmaker named Nate as a title for his documentary about falling in love with a Facebook hottie who turned out not to be the person she claimed to be online. If your digital significant other won't Skype you, you might be courting a catfish. Nate coined the term catfish. He didn't necessarily mean to. It was a reference to the fact that the scaly creatures are added to tanks to keep their fish moving about. Catfish keeps us on our toes. Life without them would be less interesting. It still doesn't make sense to me. It do- yeah, it doesn't. But that that's where he got it from. I thought there was going to be a significant reason and a meaning behind it that dates back centuries. But- oh, wait. So if you make it past the catfishing yeah. and the dating apps and you're yeah. in a relationship, yeah. I want to know how you feel about this. Okay. Somebody submitted this. I was seeing this guy for two years and I started to find out all the things he told me were lies. Mm. He never took photos with me and wouldn't give me any of his social medias at all. A couple months ago, I saw his ID and it proved that he was lying about his age, <gasps> name, everything. <gasps> I'm nine months pregnant with his son. No. He was so excited about baby at the beginning. But now since it's getting closer to my due date, he's <gasps> acting like he's just a donor. I no. found his brother, his mom, and other mem- members of his family. So I was wondering, would it be wrong if I inbox them and tell them that they got a nephew or grandson on the way? There was some typos oh, in there, but you get ouch. the gist of it. Well, how would you go about that? I would move to another country. It's rough, right? I would because like I don't if you don't want to be involved, That's I don't want you involved and you're clearly a terrible person. I don't want to share like custody with you. So I would just like move countries and start a new whole new life i wouldn't want them involved i want nothing to do with their family him nothing yeah that's a really rough spot to be in what would you do oh gosh i mean if i wasn't pregnant it's easier to just dip out right but now you're gonna have his baby and you're linked to this person for at least 18 years oh forever really i would tell his family you would i would huh so they know what kind of scumbag he is huh also they sh- they need to know if they have a grandson, cousin, nephew, little why sister, though? brother on the way. Why? Or not brother or nephew. I know you're saying, but um, why? Why would they need to know that? What's the, because what's the, what's the point? Because if you flee the country and there's a pers- another part of their family, that's, that's their not family. A, who cares? That's, I don't think that's legal. Well, it's I think legal that's in my <laughs> kidnapping. <laughs> I would tell the family... And so the family could give him a spanking and put him in line. Yeah, but then the family can go to bat for him and be like, we're going to take custody. We'll, we'll blah, blah, blah. There's so many things to that. I'm there's like, so no. many ways this could go wrong. And like, yeah. there's no way that you there's can no win. right answer, I guess. You just have to like go with your gut. Yeah. I think I would for sure tell the family <sighs> and do my best to take care of the kid, but did, like leave that. That guy sounds like a scumbag. Yeah. Or like go seek help. Go like see if you can work on it for the kid. Yeah. Go like get couples counseling, see like why he did this, the reasons behind it. Mm-hmm. Maybe there's some crazy reason that he did this. Maybe. I bet let's he's, give him the benefit of the doubt. I hate doing, but let's try that and see what happens. But that's so sketch. I'm the universe like, is going to put us with the right people. It's fine. Yeah, we're putting it out there. Yeah. But 
Whether it's on a dating app or we meet them just like the rom-com way. Match.com. Who knows? <laughs> Endless possibilities. Or maybe we fall and the hero picks us up and he gives us CPR and he's like our lover or something. I don't know. Well, this has been really fun talking yeah. about all things love and dating apps. Uh, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching or listening. Um, if you want to see more of us... Follow us on all socials at Heartland Ray for our comedy content and at Excuse My Friend for our podcast content. Like, yeah, share, yeah, subscribe, yeah, leave yeah, a review. Yeah, yeah, Even yeah. if you don't like us, let us know how you feel. We love hearing all opinions. <laughs> and next week we have a special treat. We have another special guest. Yeah, so, we love guests. Uh, we will see you next week. Bye. Bye.